I'm recording. Cool. Right, it's still pretty chilly outside, so let's just make sure our bodies are nicely warmed up and connected and engaged. So just find your feet, gently draw the toes in, sink your hips, lengthen through the spine, relax the shoulders. standing just breathe so you just want to be aware of your body as you're breathing in and breathing out and then while you're doing your breathing just sink the hips lengthen through the spine relax around the jaw As you're breathing, notice your feet. So you want your chin resting on the small ball that's floating on water. You want to sink your hips and then lengthen through the spine. I feel that you've got lots of space in the body, lots of room. around the hips and sink them and relax around the knees and make sure your knees point where the toes point. So you lengthen along the spine, notice your breathing, notice the sounds you can hear. Okay, right, everybody sink your shoulders a bit more. Just create a bit more space. And just breathe, breathe naturally and tune into that really calm, quiet, 
clear place of stillness. Breathing, breathing in, breathing out. Relax around the knees, sink the hips, lengthen through the spine. shake out a bit okay we're gonna do the um, inside turn and the outside turn I'll just um, so when you're doing the inside turn you want to transfer your weight and turn into that leg transfer your weight turn into the other leg but just be aware of the contact with your feet and the ground so really focus on that centered and rooted contact and we'll maybe go a little bit slower and then start speeding up when when you can really feel the feet okay so okay that's not a bad start okay let's just pause a sec oh it's going to be one of those sorts of classes isn't it Oh, well, never mind. Um, okay, from the diagonal. The other thing you want to do is think about your waist turning. So, earlier, we were turning our waist to the corner. It's the same thing. So, just think of loosening round here. So, freeing up. Um, so, this area here is called your belt channel. In So, you want to you wanna kind of free up round your belt channel. Try, try, try again. So your, yeah. The other thing you need to do is you need to turn to towards the weighted leg. Yeah, we're doing the inside turn. Inside turn. And your arms are. Hang on, I'll wait for the train to go by. That's a noisy train, isn't it? Um, you wait, you allow your arms to be moved. So your arms are being moved by the turning. Have a look from the back. By the turning of the waist. Relax your jaws a bit more and breathe. Keep breathing. That one, that bit, that one's quite important actually. Yeah. That's that's much better, everyone. Yeah. Now, now when you're doing this, connect your body. So, or or feel the natural connections. Lengthen through the spine and breathe. Okay, that was so brilliant. We're going to do the outside turn. Yeah, I think I think we're all cooking now. 
that's good. So I'll just demonstrate it. So you want to be, um, with the outside turn, you want to be more mindful of the alignment between your knees and your toes. And that the knees are in line with the toes. So you might want to think about uh, rotating somewhere in your femur, um, hip joint. So, yeah, okay. And we're, we're sinking down. So when you're sinking, what you're doing, so you've got this point here on the lower spine, your Ming Men point, or the gate of life, it's also called the gate of life. You want to make sure your gate is nicely opened. Oh, there we go. And now we transfer, and I'll do it in slow, slow motion, and then you just turn. And then you... Here we go. So now we're doing the outside turn. So notice where the weight is and where the waist is turning to. So I go to, so you go to the left, but you're turning to the right. You're going to the right, but you're turning towards the left. I'll do this from the back. turn around because otherwise I can't see what you're doing that's much better okay relax around the shoulder joints a bit more and just let let the arm the arms are just really floppy floppy fying Much better. Okay, even floppier and more relaxed arm. Oh, lovely. Okay, next. We, we will get round to doing some sort of Tai Chi at some point, but this is, um, yeah, I saw Corel on twice on Tuesday actually. And he has an effect on how I teach, it seems. So um, take a slightly wider posture, just, just watch. So I turn in and I'm closing this hip joint and I'm making sure this knee is in line with my toes and then I sink. This is all nicely lined up and then I... So I tool through the spine, tool through the spine. Okay, and now just let the arms move.
tool through the spoke. So you want to really watch out. Now, if you find it too hard to keep your knee in line with the toes at this speed, slow down. Because actually the important part of this is that you're lined up correctly along your leg and you're feeling the weight shift. So there's, uh, especially in the latter half of the fall, there's a lot of weight shifts so and turns. So you wanna make sure you're doing them all correctly, that you've got your alignment correct. So the energy can flow through the body. There we go, we're nice and tall. That's very good. Now raise the arms up. Just feel that chest nice and open. It's like you're welcoming in, welcoming in another lovely day. There we go. That's it. To sink the shoulders. Shoulders open. Think of them, maybe they're stretching outwards a bit. Yeah. We're going to have a look at the Taisha exercises today. Because uh, they're very good for shoulder strength and flexibility. Okay, shake it out. Okay, but before that, let's do pounding massage. Uh, so this is from Eva. So you get your fingers together and you just very gently massaging your fingers, so pounding massage, so that's the first one. And then you turn the hands and you go like this. So hands in cold weather, you can get a bit stiff. So we wanna make, we wanna pay attention to our hands and make sure they're feeling comfortable. And yeah, comfortable. There we go. Okay, then the web, uh, the tiger's, uh, lion's mouth. Okay, lion's mouth, other side. And the elbows are out slightly, so you're not kind of flumped. You're, you're like this, and you're, you're tall. Good posture. That's it, everybody. And we're breathing. again like that other side so I'm moving both arms towards each other So I'm looking like a diagonal. Other side along the other diagonal. Fingers interlock. Now don't go too far apart with this because you might poke yourself in the hand. <laughs> so just like that. So you're... Yeah, it kind of reminds me a bit of when, when the BBC put the picture up of how to wash your hands this somehow. <laughs> okay, and then like that. There you go. Okay. And then rub the hands together. And then just use the flats of your hands. Just, just very gently tap down the inside of the arm, up the outside of the arm. And you're just aware of what you, what you feel. Other side. Parallel lines radiating 
outwards. Very nice. Round the hips. And out the outside, up the inside. So down the outside. Okay, and then Barry's being nice to the knees exercise. So we do five of these. One, two, three. And then up the leg, round the hips. On the back again. And then on the tummy, on the chest. And then back on the tummy again. Three breaths. Okay, and then very briefly, we'll just whiz through the other loosening exercises, otherwise we'll be here all day. And that's much better. So, you know, if you, especially if it's, you know, if you're feeling a bit cold, doing the pounding massage and the tapping massage, it's just a really good way of getting your circulation warming up. That's good. Okay, now turn the palms up. That's it, nice and tall. So yeah, do feel free to wear wear sort of shoes or socks or preferably both in this cold weather. I have feet because just because of the green carpet, if I wear footwear you can't really see my feet properly, so Okay, and then oh. so again, you're still tuning into that very still, quiet place, and just every now and then pay attention to your vertical alignment.
Okay. Right. Um. Yeah. Ty, sure. So it's called press palms. So if you have a look from the side, I'm slightly pushing forward with the heel of my hand, and I'm sinking down, and I'm open here, and I'm open here. So we're just going to breathe in and out. Ten times. Change, palms out. So you're pointing your second finger, your pointy finger towards the thighs, and you're spiraling. So you want to feel that you're spiraling through the arm and releasing. So you want to spiral, release, spiral, release. Sink the hips, opening the Ming Men point, the gate of life, lengthen through the spine. change supporting heaven so have a look from the side i'm rising my little finger up the thumbs going back and i'm thinking of spiraling so the spiral is that way and that way and sink down so you're really supporting the sky with your correct posture So the arms are out. So sink the shoulders though. You, you don't want them up by your ears. It's not, it's not a good look. Sink down. Well, watch out for watch out for your feet going out of line though. Dreadful. <laughs> Feel the chest open and rising up. So your bones are rising, holding you up. Your muscles are soft. It feels like 10, right? That's 10. Even if it wasn't, it's 10. So like this. So like you've got someone's thrown a ball and you've just caught it to throw it up again. It's called um, holding under the ball. So the spirals, 
You're spiralling with the forearm, you're spiralling that way. With the upper arm, you're spiralling that way. So what I tend to do, I just work on one direction at a time. Uh, Corel can do both at the same time. goes down, the other hand comes up, hang on, go a bit further back, above the head. Now you want the shoulder, you want to sit into the shoulder and then turn the palm out for an extra special twist. T upright, so use your picture to check that you're nicely upright and not wonky at all. It's called separating heaven and earth. Other side. Relax the muscles upwards through the bones, softly gazing forwards, listening behind and above. Holding up the sky. So again, the shoulders are just sitting there nicely in the shoulder joint. Separating east from west. I'll show you that. And then opening the gate of life, so let the hands drop. I'll come a little closer for this one. Let the hands drop. You make a very loose, very open fist, and then you spiral the hands outwards. So you, you feel it, and you want to feel it in your shoulder joint. And the hands are in front 
of the thighs and you sink your hips as if you're just about to sit down on a high chair. That's Taisha. Um, eventually what you do is you end up holding each push to five minutes. So actually it's a 45 minute standing exercise. What we're going to do is we're going to go through all those eight postures as a flowing thing. So we won't really be holding it, but we'll just, and we'll do it two more times. So one, two, three, Four, five, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Seven, eight. Great. Have a little shake out. We'll pause for a very brief water break and then do some 24 step related Qigong exercises. And um, yeah. Oh, ginger tea break. Yeah, I can tell it's cold. I'm back on the ginger tea. Mm, really good. So yeah, I, I, I've now just thrown these videos straight onto the YouTube channel because I, I haven't got time to edit anymore and actually they're okay as they are, I think. Um, and that pretty much, um, yeah, it's just easier to get up. So I'll... I'll hopefully put them up all over the weekend then you can go and do your classes again um oh yeah the, the only caveat is that you if you are practicing with the videos be very mindful of how you're moving because obviously i can't see you um so you have to be responsible for keeping yourselves um damage free when you're when you're practicing at home with the videos it's just um I've forgotten about that. Now I've covered my insurance. Brilliant. Okay, so, uh, yeah. What I would like to do, probably next week now, as we were looking at, at structure this week, um, if I just show you, with from, from here, so like that, one, two, three, four, five, six then i've run out of room actually it's six like that like this so we'll do some qigong and then we might we might try this this exercise you know just to just to kind of 
at least start that in the pipe work uh, for when we do it proper. So the, the snake creeps down, you've just done your grasp the tiger's ears, you've kicked with your right leg and then you, you go into your snake creeps down into golden cockerel and the snake creeps down into golden cockerel and then into fair lady works at shuttle. So we're, we're kind of just starting, just gently easing ourselves into that. So let's just start here and we'll change. So hopefully now we've done the Thai show we could feel our structure in the body. One more time, sink the hips and oh lovely. Eighty percent, twenty percent in the front foot, eighty percent in the back. Pull through the spine. So use the picture. You're a picture to check your posture. Nice rounded feeling. One more time each side.
repulse the monkey. So with this one, you want to get an intention of sort of determined intention to harmonize your intention intentional mind with your heart mind so it's harmonizing the shen with the yi the intent with the heart mind emotional mind So you've got this kind of calm implacability look, look it up if you don't know what implacable means it's a kind of like determined unstoppableness i think something like that One arm. Soft and light. Nice and relaxed. And then change to the other arm. And then like a well-oiled machine, Ooh. do you know, you all look so good, I'm starting to feel really relaxed now, well done everybody, that's lovely, oh I'll have to go and lie down, keep breathing though. Wave hands like clouds. Sink the hips. So you want to sink the hips and keep this rounded and spacious shape in the in the arm. So you've got this lovely, you know, feeling that you've got lots of room, that you're owning your space. It's all it's all good. It's all good.
They take a wider stance, go to this side, sink down, sink your hips. Part of the wild horse's mane, health exercise. more time. Change sides. One more time. Okay, right, now for the dragons of the class, let's go through the first third of the 24th step. So from the beginning to the end of step back and uh, repulse the monkey. Okay, here we go. Begin. 
Gather runs off of the the world horses main three times. spreads its wings but I need to go back a bit so I can step forward three times. Rush knee and push. Spear hand. Step back and repulse the monkey. Remember, you've got this will, calm, determination. So it's like you're a calming influence on the emotional mind. Triple heater. Embrace the tiger, return to the mountain.
One more time. Okay. Rub the hands together. And polish the face. One more embrace tiger. And then make a fist of the right hand, left hand over the top, feet together, and back. Hopefully that sorted everybody out. <laughs> Great. Yeah, any any questions or anything?